the climate crisis is having a significant impact on the communities in Kenya. The main problem is the lack of access to a reliable source of water to help them withstand the unpredictable weather made worse through the climate crisis. The weather has become more extreme. Drought has become more frequent and intense, resulting in millions of people being short of food as they are unable to grow crops. In parts of Kenya in 2020, Drought has, was followed by relentless rainfall and flooding, which damaged crops that had struggled to grow. With no access to reliable water sources or a way to capture rainfall, many communities are struggling to survive. The coronavirus pandemic has only increased the urgent need for families to access a reliable source of water for hand washing, in Kitui County, Eastern Kenya, eight out of 10 people depend on water to grow crops for food and to earn a living. Without a reliable water source, staple crops like maize and beans are damaged and destroyed. The lack of water forces people to walk further and further to find a dependable source. Cows, sheep and goats are becoming weak without access to water and can't produce milk to be sold. Milk people are struggling to cope. Lives are at risk. Rose is caught in a cycle of climate chaos. From severe drought to flooding, extreme weather robs her of what she needs to survive, a reliable source of water. Without water, every day is a struggle. Without water, Rose is thirsty and hungry. This is her climate crisis. When I was a young girl, there was plenty of food, Rose says. Now the rains are totally unreliable. The climate crisis has galvanized extreme weather and Rose's community are feeling the brunt of it. For months at a time, Rose lives with drought. I often feel hungry, Rose says, because of climate change. I worry a lot about food. I pray to God that the rainfall will become normal like it used to be. In recent years, the drought has been so bad that it's caused a hunger crisis. Crops wither and die, rivers run dry, people struggle to survive. Rose strives to provide for her grandchildren who live with her. She does all she can to give them happy childhoods, but the climate crisis is driving her to the brink. In times of drought, Rose sets out on a long and dangerous journey every morning to collect water for her family. She walks with an empty stomach. We have to walk long distances. We are suffering, Rose said. While she walks, her stomach gives her stabbing pains she feels weary under the hot sun. But if she gives up, her grandchildren will suffer hunger and thirst. With a dam full of water, Rose would be free from her long, painful journeys. She'd have time to grow fresh vegetables for her family to eat. And she could see her grandchildren grow up and live life in all its fullness. Florence is full of life, love and laughter. The women in her family group look up to her. She's courageous, kind, a survivor. A few years ago, her husband died, leaving her a widow. At that time, she had no water to grow crops. Her children were hungry. 
She had to walk for hours on dangerous journeys to collect water. Life was miserable, she told us. But things have changed for Florence. Next to her farm, Florence is, is proud to show us something remarkable, a dam full of fresh water. It's thanks to Christian aid donations that Florence and her community have built this water dam with the help of our partner, Anglican Development Services Eastern, just a short walk away from her village. With this dam, Florence can grow tomatoes, onions and chilies on her farm. With this dam, her children can eat healthy, nutritious vegetables. It's her source of life and joy. Florence also uses the water from the dam to keep bees. She sells the rich golden honey for cash at the market. Now Florence is reaping a good life for herself and her family. The dam gives Florence strength to widen even the most, sorry, to withstand even the most predict unpredictable weather. It's a reliable water source, whether she faces long drought or relentless rainstorms. Sadly, millions of people in Kenya are desperately struggling to survive climate cha um, changes. You can help another community build a dam. Many more people will have water they need to sustain their families. From drought to flooding, climate change robs people of control over their lives. Extreme weather means people like Rose and Florence are struggling to survive without a reliable source of water. Your gift could help a community build an earth dam. So when the rains do come, they will have the water they need to live. A reliable source of water will help families withstand long drought or relentless rainstorm. Every gift can help change lives. Please give to Christian Aid.